We all know that time is money. So when we hear that there are AI tools that can save us time and make us money, it's time for a demo day. Expert Connections starts now. Demo day on Expert Connections. I'm Julie Holton. Welcome to the show. Joining me today is David Smith. He is the founder of Amplify Labs AI. Dave, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Julie. I'm excited to be here. I love demos. <laughs> and this is not demo as in like we're knocking stuff down. We're going to actually try out one of these tools that has, you know, it's like we have a new tool on the market every hour in the AI space. So let's start putting them to the test. Today, you have a tool you're going to show us called Merlin. What is Merlin? So like you said, people want to want to save time. So Merlin's goal is to, to save you time. And I've been using this in, in a few ways. Like on social media, it helps me craft replies to things I might not otherwise reply to. Like, you know, I'm, I, I'm sure you and I both want to support all our friends, but we just, there's not enough time in the day. And, and a lot of times that cold kickstart problem where getting a draft of something can really help us refine. You know, yeah, so that blank page. When that blank page is staring at us, sometimes there's nothing worse than an empty screen. Merlin, I looked it up. It says it's claiming that it's a chat GPT extension to finish any task on any website in seconds. So <laughs> I can't wait to see if it lives up to that claim. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get into it right now? Let's get into it. Okay, Julie. So Merlin is a Chrome extension. So you just you just install it and then it's working while while you're working. And so I'll, I'll show it on on Twitter and on LinkedIn and YouTube, and then we'll get wild. And I haven't used it much in Gmail, but we'll we'll dive into Gmail. So the goal here is you know, awesome. So first we are looking at Twitter. Dave, what are we looking at here? Yep, this is Twitter. So this is my friend Bruce Fred Fenson, and he's a he's a Bitcoiner like me. You know, we we love we love our Bitcoin. And so, so he, he wrote this tweet, right? Open source thrives in a permissionless, decentralized, chaotic environment. Experiments and builders should be encouraged and celebrated. Uh, cypher, cypher, cypherpunk maximalist, right? So that's like, oh my gosh, there's like a lot of stuff there. Like, yeah, we want to like lift him up. But if we don't have time, we can just go down to Merlin. And Merlin has put in these, these three Ooh, buttons. Look at that. What do, you, what do you think? Casual reply, positive reply, or professional reply? What do you, what do you think? I'm going to go positive all day. Positive all day. Okay, so let's see. So now there it is. So we can see. We can stop it right now, but we'll just see see what it writes out. And this this is actually looking pretty good. Completely agree, Bruce! Exclamation point. <laughs> Open source has revolutionized the way we build and innovate. I, you know, I completely agree with that. In a decentralized environment, experimentation is key. Keep spreading the foundation of cypher, cypherpunk. So for me, I love all that. Looks like Merlin has captured it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. It did a great job here. Usually, usually I've got to tweak it a bit, but in this case, you know, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take off this this last part because that's not my thing as much. But you know, I 100% agree with these two statements. So I think I'll just even blam that right out there. Look at that live in real time. Merlin just created in seconds, lived up to its name. Okay, what's the next one you have to show? So this this by the way, like once you install the plugin, it's just showing up now. Those those reply options just showed up in your in your Twitter feed. Yep, that's exactly right. And I'm on the free version. So I think I get like 50 free credits per day. And I think that used one credit there. Um, so I think I feel like it's a very generous, very generous free plan. All right. So let's head over to LinkedIn next. What have we got in LinkedIn? So so LinkedIn, our mutual friend Keith Glendon, he is talking about AI. He was at he was at Google Cloud Generative AI Lab. Yeah, shout out to Keith, who is the director of Startup Grind Marquette, one of our great friends up in far up in northern Michigan, up in the UP. Uh, awesome to see him out at Google focusing on Gen AI. So what, uh, what, what do we have to do here to reply to this post? Well, you see these three buttons that we've got it's very similar to Twitter. What, what do you think? Positive reply, thoughtful reply, or curious Ooh, reply? I'm going to have to go curious on this one. Curious. Let's, let's see what it I does. I what he's doing out there. <laughs> uh oh, Julie, looks like you broke it. What's happening? Uh oh, it's it's still generating, I hope. 
Wow, Keith is a good start. <laughs> so I actually haven't seen this before, but I'm not, I'm not too surprised. I have seen this a lot, like on ChatGPT itself, where it where it stops or it gets stuck. But uh, yeah, this is the buggy. first time I'm seeing Merlin have this problem. I think maybe I'll go ahead and just stop it and just try again. All right, come on, Merlin, work your magic. There it goes. Oh, look at this. So, okay. So in real time, this is pulling from your LinkedIn profile. Yes, yeah, so this is, this is interesting, Julian. This is something I'm not good at myself, you know, trumpeting, you know, what I do and who I am. And it's, and it's interesting to see it want to insert, you know, this, what would you call it? What would you, what would you call that, Julie? Yeah. I mean, this is like, this is really personalizing it, which we know in the marketing world, any world, sales, marketing, even just person to person conversation, personalization is really what, what makes that extra effort. So this is tying in who you are as it relates back to Keith's post about AI. You know, and Ju Julie, as I, as I read this, I'm going to share something too. So first I'll take off the wow, Keith, wow, Keith, but it says really curious about what lies beyond gen AI. So when I, when I read his message, I don't remember it saying anything about, you know, what lies beyond Gen, Gen AI. So now I'm going to go back up there and read again, just the tip of an iceberg. And so I missed, I missed that nuance when I was reading this. And, and the very and last two words, times. he ends with uh, what I thought was kind of a play on to infinity and beyond from Disney. Uh, he ends with in the very near future and beyond. Yeah. But Julie, I want to point this out because this is happening a few times where I'm like, what, what is this thing talking about? What lies beyond AI? And then I go back and look up in the message and I'm like, oh, you know, I just, my brain just quickly like kind of summed this up and, and I completely missed this key point really, I think here. And so I think that's a, a surprising um, benefit of these generative tools where they're actually reading, you know, uh, closer than I am. Well, and I love too how it it there's an attempt here to really also encapsulate who you are and to personalize this message specifically from you. These may not necessarily be the words you would choose to use. You can you know do a little tweaking here or there. Also, you know, downfall that it it got stuck and you had to run it again. Although it still probably took less time to hit you know to generate it again than to try to sit there and come up with a reply, but. This is interesting. Um, and I love how it's giving you different options for the tone of your reply. So that's really cool. Okay, so what does it do in YouTube? I'm like really excited to see what, what it, like, because the other thing I'm really liking, Dave, is it's putting this right within your feed. You don't have to go someplace else. You don't have to open up another tab or a window. You're not like, you know, kind of pausing one platform to open another. This with the with the Chrome extension, this is right in your browser. So yeah. I can't wait to see what it what capabilities there are in YouTube. Yeah, it's very it's very smooth. And YouTube is my favorite one. This is the one that that I find the most useful. So here's a, here's a video we recorded a couple of weeks ago, and and it's a twenty minute video. And I don't know about you, Julie, but. I just don't have, I could, I could spend all day on YouTube, but I, and I spend a very oh, little time. I don't time know, Dave. These 20 minutes, I'm sure, are packed with <laughs> <laughs> But okay, so for the random person who may not have 20 minutes. Yep. So check out what it did up here. So up here, you can see the Merlin thing, and it, it's showing our, our credits. So we've used a couple credits from what we had to generate before. And then we can say, we want to summarize this video. So it's going to summarize this 20-minute video. Instead of us watching this, it's just going to summarize it. And it's telling us too, it's very nice that this will use approximately four queries. And it's actually generous of Merlin, so I'm pretty sure that they're paying for each one of these tasks they're doing for me. Um, so that's very nice. So you saw that was that was fast. Like you went through this whole 20 minute thing. And, and what do you what do you think here, Julie? I don't know if you remember this this episode, but it says founder demonstrates how AI can quickly develop an app prototype. App idea came from a ring that collects health data. So far, so good. And then it's got these different these different segments here, and we can even we can even uh, click on them and go right to that part in the video. Oh, that's cool. You know what I also like about this as someone with a YouTube channel, obviously, who doesn't have enough time in the day to you know, like we're able to put timestamps in our video, but we have to find them, we have to label them, we have to do all of that manually. This suddenly changes the game. I. 
would love if I don't have to do that manually. And I like too that this was also very specific. I saw in that very first um, kind of tab that opens down, the very first one, the expanded version, yeah, right there shows Dave Smith's idea. So it's even taking the point that it's summarizing and tying it back to one of the speakers in the video. That's super cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this this is mind blowing. I mean, yeah, you know, it's so fast. You know, it's it's so good. I mean, you know, there's a lot of value in this. Uh, if you just don't have time to to watch the videos you want to watch, or you know, the congressional testimony that's like three hours long. I think I put that into into this tool to. Um, I think I made a LinkedIn post on it. You know, here's like what AI had to say about it. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to check for that LinkedIn post then on because what <laughs> you know, who doesn't need a summary of that. Also, yeah. I'm gonna find this super helpful for some podcasts that are on YouTube that I love, but have a love-hate relationship with because they're four hours long. And I don't know who has four hours to listen to. Like I'm listening to it on 2X and even then it's still two hours longer than I want it to be. The Cliff's Notes version is going to be awesome. That's a game changer. Okay. And then the last one that we've got, this will be a little, uh, we might have to even blur this out because I'm going to be dangerous and open up my, my email. So, so we'll see. But uh, so this is just the invite for this for this meeting, and Google actually has AI capabilities built in. So this magic button is Google's. App. Maybe we'll just demo that. We'll just see, you know, Google. We'll Bonus see Google's draft. Here. We'll, we'll see Google's draft, and then we will we will see Merlin's, and we'll we'll see who who wins. You know, uh, what is Google a trillion dollar company or you know Merlin? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how All right. So it looks like it's giving you prompts there for what you want to create with that, that magic app for Google. Oh yeah. You know how to, you know how to use this thing better than I do. Well, um, I don't, I just am seeing on the screen there that it's not automatically I'm noticing it's not responding to the email. You still have to type in a summary of whatever you want to say. <laughs> so yeah, see, I'm spoiled. I expected I was just going to click a button and it was going to do stuff. But like you said, it's, it's sitting there waiting for me. <laughs> You've been this, waiting for a while. Google, Google, Google makes you uh, makes you work. So, All right, so nice, nice start there. I wish it would have filled in the date because the date's in the email. The date's and in the your email. Your name and... <laughs> should be kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think um, yeah, Google's interesting. You know, even before AI, uh, you know, it was smart enough to know my name. Um, I don't know how I delete this. We'll delete that. Okay, now let's see what now let's see what Merlin does. Let's see what Merlin does. Let's say let's say agree here on Merlin. So it's already better because you don't have to type anything and it's just doing it. It's just doing it. And it and it filled in the date and the time. Nice. Just screwed, up, just screwed up a little bit. Just screwed well, up. Well, it actually bit. took the actual name that the invite I put on the calendar was AI demo with Dave. Which probably oh, okay. wasn't the greatest invite to send to you, <laughs> so I'll I'll take the fall for that one. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Yeah, and I think Julie, I think this is amazing. I mean, this is unbelievable, right? Like Google, they're a trillion dollar company. I think I can't remember how many hundreds of people are working on their AI tools, and and we saw what their tool did. I mean, I, I don't use it. Is and it then using we saw... Google Bard? Like, what is it using? Do you, do you know? <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's just it's just wild how how different that is versus Merlin, which I'm guessing is a team of five or less people that's probably you know hardly put any money into it, and, and they did an awesome job here, right? Like we could actually use this, and I think Julie, that's the opportunity of AI right now, where you know where else in in history can a little tiny team, you know, just completely come in and make a product that's ten or a hundred times better than than a trillion dollar company. That's that's crazy, but that's where we are right now in AI. I love it, Dave. So let's talk from a productivity standpoint because you are a consultant who works with companies to, um, to do a number of things using AI, but one of those things is productivity. And we talked at the start of the episode about saving time, making more money. How do you see a tool like this? Can you talk about the benefits? How do you see this um, helping companies? Yeah, so I just launched an AI consultancy, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. And so I've been spending a lot more time on LinkedIn. And actually, Julie, I had forgotten that I even, you know, installed Merlin other than I'd use it for YouTube summaries a few times. But I saw those buttons that were right there in LinkedIn. So I didn't have to do any extra work. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, I want to reply to this. I want to reply to that. And somebody told me last week, they're like, Dave, how in the world are you like everywhere? Like, how are you putting out all this stuff on LinkedIn? 
And, and really it's just, you know, from these tools where before, you know, I would like something or I might say awesome exclamation point or something like that. But, you know, it was rare for me to put in a thoughtful reply because, you know, it takes a lot of work to, to do that. But this really helps me where it just puts in these drafts and then I can refine them. And, and so I think, you know, I think it, it seems little, but it probably cuts down my, my workload, you know, from like three to five minutes to, you know, maybe 20, 30 seconds, something like that. And, and so I'm able to, to do a lot more and, and I don't feel like fatigued. You know, you know, I think we think about our, like our muscles getting fatigued, but I think our brains get fatigued throughout the day where we've got all these messages, you know, coming in and thinking to do that original work, like you said, on the blank page, these tools really help giving you us a first draft. And I think it's so much easier to say, hey, no, that's not what I meant. I meant this after something, <laughs> which used to be somebody has put in the work to, to uh, write something. And how many times do we see a message, whether it's on a LinkedIn feed, it's in our email, it, it, it's on YouTube, we see something that we want to respond to or have to respond to, whether we want to or not. But in that moment, when we first see it, we don't have the words, we don't have the bandwidth. Maybe it's first thing in the morning, you're not even out of bed yet and you're scrolling through your phone like all the experts say not to do, but you're doing that and, and you don't have the words in that moment. I could see this really coming in clutch to be able to respond or at least get that response started, like you've said. Dave Smith from Amplify Labs AI, so glad to have you on the show today. Appreciate this demo of Merlin. Look forward to hearing from our audience. Comment down below. Let us know, have you tried Merlin? What are you using it for? What are your favorite tools, your favorite AI tools that are helping you right now? Let us know. We want to demo them live on the show and uh, be sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned. Dave, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Julie.